Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video is my monthly inventory video. Before I get to that, there's a couple things I want to say. I, if you like all firewood related videos, you're at the right place. I usually make a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. Today happens to be Monday, and it's I do an inventory video on the first of every month. So they coincided, so that's what you're getting today. And uh, if you like if you like elf, anything firewood related, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Thank you. And the other thing I wanted to tell you, for mainly the people that watch me every every video that have been with me for a while, guess who texted me last night? Mike! So I guess uh I guess he's tired of playing Fortnite with with Alex every day. He's done playing games. He wants to come back to work. Well, I said I got I got work for him, but don't got much money. But I got some deliveries going out this week. He knows what I like. I said just start bringing it. Might be IOU, but guess what? Mike will be coming back to work soon. So we'll have him in a video uh, once uh, once I figure it out. I'll take him over maybe to the honey hole or something. So just wanted to let you know he's done playing games. All right, back to this video. We're gonna start over here with the king of firewood who happens who happened just get back from the honey hole and he's splitting a load of dry oak right now. This is his inventory. What he's doing right here, he, he built this perimeter wall around it. He's putting all the dry wood in there. When I show you on the truck, you can see it's dry. And then I'll be buying this off him throughout the year. And because uh, it's basically ready to go. It, could, it, it wouldn't hurt sitting out here for a little bit. It, the center of the pieces might be a little wet. So this is his, his dry section. I got to show you the pieces. Let's see what we got here. Probably was, it smells like white oak. So. You know, the center probably could use a little bit of seasoning. But it, it must have been a standing dead. But this, yesterday he cut four truckloads like this. I think he, he only split one of them. But the last one I posted a picture, it was like up to the top of his cab. But he's getting air brakes or, uh, uh, what's that? Air, uh, air shocks put on. Uh, tomorrow, I think, actually on Wednesday, so he's driving off tomorrow. But he's using my Husky, I let him use that to split his inventory, because I'm his biggest customer. But his other, his other inventory here, and I know he's not supposed to cover it up until the fall, I guess he's planning on taking it, taking it off there. Some people suggested to put it on only on rainy days, but that'd be a lot of work. But you can see how big this pile is. I would say there's probably, uh, probably 15 truckloads in there. This is, I don't know, 16 foot, probably, maybe 20. 16 by 16, I think, just by eyeballing it. So here's his two saws, 661 and a 362. So that's what he makes all this with. And he's got a 460 in the shop right now. Over here, we'll go to my stuff now. It's what I call bay number one. It's where I, I like to only put dry or ready to burn wood, like ash, or so, like, some of this oak like what he's got. That's what I've got in here right now. This ash, I've been splitting some of this right into the truck and taking it to the customer, so I don't have to pick, it, pick the pieces up. But I'd like to get this full before I, people start buying in August shouldn't be too big of an issue it just depends if people can get it to me and then right here there's some junk wood that we burn the rejected pieces then over here is what i call bay number two almost everything in here is oak this is a lot of this i got from herb and i'll probably need to get more from him but i'd also like to have this filled up at least this area i like keeping the quad in here out of the elements although i probably could park in the barn since uh, we're not parking all, all our vehicles in there right now. So when this is all full, I bet you it holds a good 12, 12 truckloads at least. 
and I got these stacked here too. So this is a uh, mostly white oak right here that Mike and his brother brought me. And then this is my bundle. My, right here is my bundle making station. And the long bundles, the ones that are cut over 18 inches go in here. I throw the pieces down there just to keep them separated because when I deliver these bundles to the to my campground, they get 75 at a time, which there's 100 here right now. Each row has 25 in it. And if they were real long, I couldn't fit 75 in the in the truck. So basically how I measure it, if it's, if it's uh, out to here, if it's longer than that, when I set the piece on there, then it gets thrown down there. Because this, I think I measured is like 17 and a half inches. So, I, and the store has been buying a lot for me. They buy 30 at a time. So I got to make like five more for them. And then I'll take them 30 and then there's 75 for the next time the camp orders. And then this is where I draw the wood from and my bundle grade wood blocks that are staged here, ready to go. I think uh, one of these days this week, I'm gonna put the East and Maid splitter back in here and uh, split some more and refill that up so it's ready to go. And, and it has, these have time to dry, although this sassafras and ash that's in here, and I think there might be some cherry too, like that, it's dry. And then here's more junk wood that we burn. And I'll go back here. Now this area, you gotta remember, remember this, I'm gonna refer to it later in the video, but you can see how I, this is where I put like semi-seasoned wood. This stuff will be ready in the fall. And I, this is how wood should be stored. I'm trying to tell him, but I, I guess he wants to learn the hard way that uh, wood that's not dry already. Now the wood he's splitting right now is fine, but when you put green wood in a massive pile like that, it gets all moldy. So. This is how firewood should be stored if it's cut green or semi-seasoned. And I got a, another little pile over there that Herb brought me. It's probably just a, like a normal truckload or a face cord. And then these, these areas I need to get filled up. Maybe if Mike comes back, he can go cut some semi-seasoned stuff and get this area filled up. So, and right here, this is my dry cherry whenever I find dry blocks in the woods this is where I put it and uh, that's all ready to go if I had to sell that right now and over here is my summer campfire wood I had this whole area filled up this is all I got left that's dry which I guess would be probably three or four truckloads right here and usually I put in sassafras maple and cherry in there but there is some other odds and ends like there might be some oak in there or elm stuff like that and then i'm already starting to replenish it for for next summer and the king brought me this stuff i bought from him there's a uh, maple and cherry in there and that looks like mostly cherry but there are a couple pieces of oak there that wood right there that's poplar that i got from my customer that i've traded for and you can see i'm building the wall up and, I, and it'll go all the way across to that, you know, when, when that's gone right there, then uh, the, I'll put, put a wall in here. And then as you can see, we can just fill it up with uh, limb wood or pieces that need to be split. And obviously that cherry needs to be split, but I, I'll probably uh, back east and made right in here, split it, split it and uh, make the wall there. So you can see we got that. And then this is a, my cherry for my restaurant, but they haven't called me since all this pandemic stuff started. So I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if they're going to make it because they should have ordered from me by now. But if they don't, if they end up going going under, you know, it's too bad. But I, I will end up selling it in the fall. It'll be dry by then. And then if you watch my live stream on my other channel, Joe's Firewood Videos, yesterday, this is the cherry that I got. The, the ash went over into bay number one. And then there's some more uh, maple and cherry right there. So the king uh, the king was uh, calling me over, over for something. I'll go see what he wants real quick. And then uh, we gotta go on a road trip with my truck. Let's see what he wants. Look at that. Barbed wires. 
something in there. Some sort of metal. You can see it has that blue color. Yeah, good thing you didn't hit it with your saw. I did. Oh, you did hit it with a saw? Yeah. You gotta watch out. Oh, we gotta, gotta watch out for metal in the wood. Not so bad on the splitter, but it wreaks havoc with the uh, chainsaws. So let me jump in the old truck. It's like the bird got her yesterday. Doing its business. Oh. Let me get in here. Let's, let's check out the mileage. Place your bets. You know, I need a new truck. Need a new truck. Yep, I keep using it. Keep using it. So, alright, I don't need it super tight. I'm just driving down into the driveway. So, right here, I got, I, I put some ash here. There's a lady that's supposed to buy it. Uh, she was going to order early. I was going to give her some of that cherry and then that, uh, the cherry that was dumped there by my supplier Tom when he got his trailer struck it stuck in the driveway in the winter time so that's gonna be going out soon and then coming up right here this is this is my shag bark hickory for the restaurant that, that orders this stuff they have been ordering from me so I'll be taking some more to them and then I got boiler wood right here and I got the, some of that from uh, the, the video I made last week uh, fried, my Friday video, that's where that oak and hickory boiler wood went. Then I got a big pile of, uh, big pile of boiler wood right here. Some of it still needs to be processed. Yeah, you know, the, the king brought me all this stuff, but he, he should have, some of the pieces will need to be cut or split, but most of it's okay. But that's a pretty good sized pile there. And then up here, I have, uh, a driveway stand that's where I sell bundles at so I need to back up in here I'm gonna I gotta load up some hickory to uh, just an individual so I'm gonna be running into town here and uh, I'm gonna just back up to it and load her load her up so you just get to what s uh, stick with me for a second while I get this parked and then we'll get out and walk around and then I'll load it up Trying to get as close as possible without running into anything. So my brother kind of buried it with all this wood over here. The king. I'll grab some gloves for loading. All right. Get out here. So this is where I keep all my hickory at. This stuff, uh, my... my I cut this the other day. This is what I cut Friday. The pieces that were good enough for regular firewood. And then my log supplier, Jeff, he brought me these. I still haven't had time to split it yet, but this stuff shouldn't take very long to dry at all. Now look at, this is the hickory the king has brought me. I think I got at least over a year's supply here right now. Maybe two years supply. <clears throat> But especially because the, the restaurant that buys this stuff from me, usually about every two months they buy an oversized truckload. I haven't delivered to them since February before all this crap started. So this is going to fill up this area. Now, the, the wood I told you about that I got to deliver, I told him I, he wants $30 worth of hickory. That looks like about $30 worth to me, so... I'll come back to this and get it loaded after I show you the rest of the stuff down here. So right here, this is what I call my long, my long cut area. I got one or two customers, maybe three that request long cut stuff. Anything over 18 inches to 24 inches. And when we're cutting wood and, it, and they, like this I got from Sean, he cut it too long. So I just bring it down here. And then when I'm ever, whenever down here, I'll split it and stack it right there. So there's probably an oversized truckle right there. He ordered two from me last year, so I need to fill up this area, but I have confidence that uh, with the King's ability of cutting, that I'm gonna get a lot of long ones out of this stack back here. So look at this, He, the King, I think he put three loads of, of uh, oak yesterday, brought it back, dumped it right there. 
You can see all this, this is almost like all oak in here. You see how we're storing it? And, and uh, what I was thinking about doing, what I was thinking about doing was coming down here. I have stored it down here before. As you can see, the pallets are already set up. But the way he put this, because we got to keep this open so they can get to the power line, to the that transformer. Uh, I guess he didn't, you know, I guess I could split some of it and put it right here. But I was thinking about clearing all this, some of this out, this brush out, and then just stacking it in rows here. But uh, I don't know about that. I, I just don't like how it's going to dry. And uh, when I when I sell when I sell all that wood that we were just up there behind the barn in those single rows, I'm thinking about doing it inefficiently, kind of like how outside of Michigan and uh, Shifty does, where they split in one spot and then they transport it to another spot. But the wood's already here. We didn't, I didn't want to bury it up there. So this is the only spot we had to put it. So I'm, like I say, I'm thinking about taking all this, splitting it into the quad trailer and then driving it up there and then stacking it in those straight rows. I also got a, I can refill bay number two with this in the, in the fall or in the early winter. So by next fall, it'll be dry. But you can see there's quite a bit of wood here and it's, it's almost all oak. So, good stuff there, right? So, let me go ahead and get this hickory loaded for you. Let's see, where should I set this? Maybe on this block right here, so you can see me. Oh, man, I hate this, this uh, tripod now. That should be pretty good. So I can get it into my truck here. Like I say, it's got, got me buried in here. Well, this is good and dry. He usually, this guy usually buys about this much off me. I gotta go in town anyway, so I work out a deal with him where I do the uh, the delivery for free because I gotta go in town by his house. So he's just gonna pay me $30 for this because normally where he's at, it'd probably be about a $40 delivery fee. There's no way I'd wanna go in into town <coughs> even for like 70 bucks. You know, my minimum to go into town is a $100 sale. You guys like that, that picture I posted of, uh, of the sunset we had last night? It's a pretty one, wasn't it? Yeah, this is good, dry, solid stuff. Sure, he'll be happy with it. Oh, that reminds me. Forgot he wanted a couple pieces of cherry. So, I have to run up to the house and get that. I think my next video on Wednesday, King and I, we have to uh, do a delivery and it needs to be wheelbarrowed about 100 yards. Well, maybe not that far, maybe 50 yards. So I recruited the king to help me while his truck's getting those airbags put on his suspension. So I might make a video of that. I haven't did a delivery video in a while. Well, now this is open, but I think I think if we split all this stuff, we split all this stuff right here. There's more, more wood right here than to fill this area. I think I might clear this out, clear these trees out, put in more pallets so we have two rows of pallets and everything, get everything split and stacked in there. So let me take, do this real quick. All right, guys. 
Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Everybody makes it to the end. You guys are awesome. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, which most likely will be Wednesday. Have a great week, guys. And gals.